crazy things I've done under the age of 16. The first tattoo I got was by a random man in a kitchen with no license with my best friend Sam and we just heard of him through word of mouth. Our friends went to him and he would tattoo people in his kitchen randomly. Super hot. This is the first tattoo that I got by him. It's the arm symbol and I was like a yoga hippie so I thought that was really cool. This is the second one I got done by him. It's literally missing a petal, so it was the second and last one that I got done by him. I got another tattoo right before I turned 16 by a different tattoo artist, and he would never check our IDs. Photoshopped my passport picture so I could get this ear piercing right before I turned 16. I literally facetuned my passport picture so that it would say 2001 as my birth date. <laughs> I let my friend Judith pierce my nose at the age of 14, and she had no experience, no numbing cream, nothing. We were just bored, and she ordered a piercing kit off of Amazon. I used to illegally drive my parents' car around all the time without their knowledge or consent. <laughs> I was literally 15. The only reason I got my driver's license is because I told the driver instructor that morning that my cat died. I don't have a cat. <laughs> Never did. I went to senior week my sophomore year and I got away with it. I went to my first frat party at UD with my cousins who are a little bit older than me. Some are the same age as me. We all went together and my phone died mid keg stand and my mom was freaking out all night. Sorry, mom. In elementary school, I used to tell people that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was my father. <laughs> He's not my dad, obviously. <laughs> my freshman year of high school, I tried out for every single like fall sport, thinking that that's how it worked when you can only play one fall sport. Like one sport, obviously, per season. Um, nobody told me that. I also brought a men's lacrosse stick to my first lacrosse practice, and I'm a woman, so a woman's lacrosse stick is very different than a men's lacrosse stick. Nobody told me. My dad didn't know. I'm not sure how because he's American, but um, yeah, I was really embarrassed, and everyone was like, the f Last but certainly not least, I used to pierce my ears at the lunch table in 6th and 7th grade, and if I didn't pierce them, I would let my friends pierce them. And that is why I have so many holes in my ears. And I've only, the only professional ear piercing I have is my very first hole, which I got when I was a baby. So every other hole in my ear, I literally got because I did it on my own <laughs> or illegally got it done at a piercing studio. The list just keeps going. So let me know if you guys want uh, part two. Oh my God, I absolutely love her. I mean, she's a grown up now and she's telling us about all these crazy stories when she was 16. I mean, Imagine if her parents are watching this video, they must be fuming. Maybe they already know about these stories, but it's absolutely like, oh! <laughs> so you can tell us about your experience if you are 16 or when you were back 16. Uh, I mean, I would really would like to know if you have as many crazy stories as her. I don't even know what to start. I think my favorite part is the piercings. Um, you know, from her going to illegal shops and not like not licensed um, and also getting piercings done at the table, at the school table where is no one professional getting uh, the piercing done is literally a mate doing that for her. I mean, <laughs> you know, like the funny part is like her ears actually look good like she's got like what four or five piercings and they actually look all right they don't look to be infected or like misplaced or anything and sometimes you know bad things can happen when you go to actual professional um and try to get a piercing done but she she seems to be you know <laughs> to have made the, the good choice after all i don't know because her piercings look good and her tattoos look good even though she went to tattoo in a guy's house and he literally just had the set up in his table, in the kitchen. That's so weird. I mean, <laughs> I guess when you are 16, you don't really think about this stuff. You don't think like, oh, I, this is something going to be forever in my skin. Let me go somewhere that is like uh, verified and they're all professionals. Even though it's a bit more expensive, it's going to be a great design. It's going to last forever. You know, like when you're 16, you're not thinking about that. When you're 16, you're probably thinking, oh, I really, really want to do this tattoo. My parents probably like don't allow um, I'm just going to fake a signature. I'm not even going to bring my ID or if I have an ID, it's probably fake. And yeah, let's go. I don't care if the guy tattoos in his home hours in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, she has so many crazy stories. I absolutely would love to hear more. I mean, I don't even know how many more she has because this seems to be quite a lot for me already. But, you know, it's quite funny because now she's a grown up. So there's nothing malicious to think about. But obviously when she was younger, uh, it was a bit more like um, she should have maybe been more careful. But, you know. 
at that age now and considering like the piercings are alright and the tattoos look alright and she never really got in a big trouble especially when she was driving without a license and you know I don't think it's nice to get things just because you lie you lied in the past you know she was telling us about how she got like a driver license she said like a cat died but like she never really got a cat anyway oh my goodness like so many stories i definitely want to hear more thanks for watching story trender don't forget to like and follow